which again is soon to be made public, private, this one is already going on. In movie chain, what we are doing uh, is to develop a distributed business infrastructure of movie industry, especially for the emerging markets. Besides uh, uh, the movie chain, uh, the whole section of this world is clearly looking at the launch, uh, public launch of movie point. Uh, for the simple reason, there is a very, very solid business backing this point. So, I am sure most of you are aware of Netflix, one of the biggest platforms. For, the, for easy understanding, uh, our project is decentralized Netflix using blockchain technology for the emerging markets. Of course, uh, the, our more than 100 million user base in India, this is the monthly active user base. Our user base is much more than that. Uh, this 100 million uh, monthly active user base is going to be the pivot point for launching a dis decentralized movie distribution platform. This slide is more or less self-explanatory. No, no two worlds are same. So, world is different at different places. So, the same business model not necessarily can be uh, at, uh, applied everywhere. There is a comparison between more developed nations, so especially if you, if, you, if you take, for example, the US, it's more PCs and Wi Fi everywhere. Whereas India is more of a mobile internet country, and even, even though the tariffs are falling, data tariffs, but the quality remains quite poor. This slide, uh, so let, let me just talk about the countries covered in red or similar colors. This, these are the countries where the average download speed is still uh, less than 4 Mbps. With, a, with an average speed uh, less than 4 Mbps, live streaming still remains, remains a dream for the masses. It requires too much time and effort. And this is where a model like Netflix fails to capture volume and reach masses. Okay, so I just quickly summarize this thing. As you can see that live streaming, what is the basic requisites of live streaming? It requires a stable and strong network. It requires huge cost in terms of from, from a platform point of view. It requires huge cost from on CD and on IDC. Even the subscription model is not so user friendly when, when you talk about emerging markets, especially a country like India. Uh, Typically, uh, the users of India want to pay only for what they watch. So, if you pay a heavy subscription, monthly subscription, and you will end up watching just one movie in a month, you know, very soon you will start thinking of uh, an alternative to that. So, overall, I mean, a, a, a model similar to Netflix, I, as I said earlier, may not be so user friendly when it comes down to a country like India. All these handicaps are well taken care of by Zender Movie Chain, which, which again is a model more suitable. So I will explain more in detail uh, how, how Zender actually works. Uh, Zender is, allow me to uh, introduce Zender as uh, one of the leading mobile apps in the world. Uh, it is a cross platform tool, works uh, on Android and iOS both. The most Interesting part is, as, uh, you know, this is typically a file sharing tool, but the most interesting part is you don't require uh, any internet or data for sharing the files. So, similar to Bluetooth technology, but more advanced, works almost 200 times faster than Bluetooth, and uh, so it's a, it's a, it's a D2D uh, uh, technology, device to device, which tra transfers files at blazing speed. An entire HD movie can be transferred from one phone to another in probably less than a minute. So let's 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 have a look how 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 Zender actually works. Hello everyone, welcome to Zender Tips. In this video, we are going to talk about how to use Zender. The Zender app. The app. Zender Second, I'll come to how the movie platform is working. Then click send in one device and click receive in the other device. The Zender device will create a new hotspot and in the receiver device, search for the hotspot that just been created. Click on the hotspot name and wait for two devices to get connected. 
Once both devices get connected, you can transfer any files with any sizes. You can transfer an application, photos, music, videos, and other documents. It's simply easy and fast. You don't have to rely to internet to transfer files. Get connected right now and transfer immediately. Sender also allows you to listen music and watch video inside the application. So that's all for today's video. We hope that you enjoy it and find Sender useful. See you in another episode of Sender Tips. Goodbye! Blender is uh, one of the most popular file sharing apps in the world today. So, if I quickly take you through some, some of the data, uh, you'll be happy to know that we have more than 100 million monthly active users in India alone today. Uh, our DAU, daily active user base, is 11 million. Uh, again, as I mentioned earlier, our total uh, user base is much, much more than that. This is the genuine active users we are talking about amazing data. What is more interesting is that in, in, in India, every day, uh, all, more, almost 200 million files get transferred through Zender per day. More relevant to today's discussion, so this, here we are talking about how many photos get transferred, so like 75 million photos, 46 million music files, 15 million apps on an average gets transferred per day. More relevant to today's discussion, let's talk about the video. Now, video includes short, short, uh, short uh, contents as well as full-length movies. Almost 50 million videos get transferred through Zender per day in India. That's 5 crore videos per day. Typically, a movie ranges, a movie file size ranges from 200 MB to 1 GB. Now imagine the quantum of data which is being saved by Zender users per day. Moreover, uh, now they would be incentivized also for that and that's where the uh, movie point will come into play. So this slide basically uh, explains the decentralized nature of Zender's business. At the internet, internet been working, I could have showed you just click on any node and it, you know, grows it to various other nodes. So what, what we are trying to show here is the multi-layered aspect of Zender, Zender's user base <coughs> and how it, <coughs> and how it uh, exhibits the multiplier effect. One user downloads a movie and it reaches hundreds without the use of internet. So each node is a center and not a center. Each node is, is a consumer, a distribution node, storage and potential token investor. Thank you. Let me <coughs> quickly take you through our business model. It's very simple. On the, on the right side, we have the content providers, which could be the various uh, movie production companies. On the, right, on, on the left side are Zender users. What Zender movie chain is basically trying to do is form a bridge with uh, connecting users to good quality contents. So we are, we are very different from the usual streaming platforms that you all uh, are aware of. We are the offline uh, decentralization distribution platform and mind you, the offline market is probably 100 times bigger than the online market. For users, it means very less data usage, saving time and energy which otherwise they would have been spending on downloading. For content providers, it means incremental sales from a totally new segment of the market. In India, given the current access and quality of market and the handicaps of like subscription of other other uh, uh, streaming platforms, <coughs> all of these uh, Netflix or Amazon or similar thing, what what they are trying to achieve? They they aim at you know someday maybe we can achieve 10% of the market share. With a model like movie chain, we can easily reach 50% of the market share. So I will not go too much into details about movie chain. You just watch this short video. This will explain how movie chain works. Imagine if you can watch movies on your device, share them with your friends and earn money in return. 
Zender is a device-to-device -device movie distribution platform based on blockchain technology. It enables you to receive and share movies with other movie lovers in a blazing fast speed. And what's more interesting is that no internet is needed. Zender's biggest mission is to connect movies to our global users, including you. Now here's how Zender works. Zender collaborates with reputed brands in order to get copyrighted movies, later encrypting and storing them in Zender Cloud. After this stage, you can download movies from our Zender Cloud or get it from other Zender users who have downloaded movies before you. You can watch it offline on your device and make a small payment to watch the entire movie. What's more, Zender will give you bonus if you share movies with your friends, and if your friends watch and do a small payment too, you'll get an even bigger bonus. Sounds great, right? It is! With the innovative distribution model, all movie transfer activities and bonus mechanism will be safely recorded in the system that is using blockchain technology for a hassle-free experience. Blockchain makes the Zender platform transparent and trustworthy for our partners, the movie producers. To generate better user comfort, we have MovieCoin, which users can get by purchasing it with legal money, sharing movies with friends along with doing some tasks in the Zender application. The MovieCoin could later be used as a payment for another movie, or to buy mobile data or even to acquire e-commerce coupons. Don't look far for unstoppable entertainment at pocket-friendly prices when Zender is here. This trusted, decentralized movie distribution platform is exponentially reaching millions of other users through constant user participation. The Zender community involves everyone in its open ecology for a universal entertainment. Zender. Watch. Share. Earn. Download now. Watch, share, and earn is a photo. Coming to a product model, it's not as complicated as it looks on the screen. So it simply defines C2D is cloud to device, D2D is device to device, and F2F is friend to friend. So it's like one user sharing something to the other. Again, we have got the content providers here. Uh, you, you will be happy to know that we have already tied up with all the top names in the movie production uh, industry, uh, Bollywood as well as Hollywood. Uh, which would be which are giving us quality movies, all the popular ones. So Zender procures movies from the content providers, encrypt them, put it on its cloud, from where the users can download the movie. Now how the typical offline model works is, <coughs> so one, one user, let's say user A, downloads a movie, okay, of course he'll, he has to download using the internet, okay. Uh, now once he has downloaded the movie, he gets a, a small, small uh, preview time, which is free. Yeah, could be 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, preview time. After that, if he wants to watch the entire movie, he will have to pay for that movie. So he pays for that movie, he watches that movie. Now he can uh, uh, share that movie free to any of his friends. Let's say he shares the movie with, with his friend B, user B. The user B again gets a free preview time. If he wants to watch the entire content, he will again have to pay. The moment he pays, user A gets some incentive through uh, movie coin. Now, uh, user B decides to share it with user C and D. The moment C and D pay, uh, pays, uh, B will get an incentive, A will get an incentive. We have restricted it to a two-layer distribution or two-layer incentive uh, this thing. Like suppose C, uh, C or D uh, sends it to E or F and E and F pays, then A will not get the incentive, it, just, it, it will be restricted to two layers. So device to device transfer is the most crucial part of our entire ecosystem. You can see the multiplier effect here, one user downloads from the internet and it reaches hundreds and, and exponentially millions without using the internet. In the process, Zender as the platform gets the income which uh, Zender shares with the content providers as a revenue share. This is how the entire uh, model works. Let me quickly take you through the ecosystem. This is one of the most important slides of today. 
this is the entire ecosystem of uh, Zender Movie Chain. I have already explained how the mo model works. What I want to highlight now is the fact is that, that this entire ecosystem is built on blockchain technology. What is so? I will not go into the technology. Already it has been explained, and we can meet uh, offline somewhere to explain. What I would like to highlight here is what is the benefit of building all this thing on blockchain. The result is enhanced trust. Now, what I mean by enhanced trust is that the moment these content providers uh, get access to to Zender's blockchain, they have the trust that data is not manipulated. It is not fudged. So no conflict at the time of revenue share. No need for third party statistics and audit. They know that they can themselves track each and every uh, transaction which is happening on the movies without uh, ha having a doubt in the mind that this could be manipulated. What it means is efficient cooperation and most more cost, cost saving, which in turn can translate into lower movie costs for the users. So it is the ultimate solution for content providers to be unshackled from the centralized platforms as well as for users to consume digital video contents at, at ease with fewer technological uh, restrictions and at more affordable uh, expenses. It also, means a it also means a smart contract. Blockchain automatically splits each transaction and all related parties get their respective share of quick payments automatically. What Suppose uh, this was not based on blockchain and there was no smart con contract, what would happen? The payment, so if, if a user pays for a movie, the, the payment from all the users will first come to the Zender movie chain as a platform. There would be a team of accountants sitting, which would be splitting it into different revenue shares, uh, different incentives, sending to the respective people, there will be third party audits, statistics, so the entire thing becomes very, very inefficient and not trustworthy. With blockchain now, uh, no need for any, 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 uh, this thing, everything is happening fast and automatic. Moreover, our incentive system uh, works on a token economy or as we have uh, termed it, movie coin. This movie coin is soon to be, uh, as I mentioned earlier, soon to be made public. Uh, so each user, and mind you, we are, we are talking about, just in India, we are talking about more than 100 million active users. Each user can be a token investor or a token owner. Everyone contributing to this ecosystem will benefit from, a to from the increase in token price. Now a user can be a consumer, a distributor, promoter and investor of movie coin. We even encourage the content providers to invest uh, in the uh, to invest as stakeholder in the movie coin. Let me highlight two of the most important strengths of Zender movie chain. One, in a country like India, we have a huge demand for movies. That's, this is something which we are all aware of. Secondly, Zender has a huge user base. You combine these two and you got a very successful business model. And these users in future will be our token holders. With the users base this large, you can well imagine the immense size of movie coin. So I won't take too much of your time. Uh, coming to the end, I would like you to hear to one of our strongest partners in movie business. You all are well aware, Heroes International is one of the biggest movie production and distribution companies in India. Here is what their president Kumar Ahuja has to say about uh, movie chain. Hi, this is Kumar Auja from Eros International. I am the President Business Development of Eros International. Uh, I would like to talk about Zender. Zender is one of the best uh, file sharing app I have seen, I have got, I've come across. And uh, I have met the management team of Zender. They are, uh, they are uh, very helpful and uh, we are collaborating with them uh, for uh, supplying the best of Bollywood and Indian content. 
uh, it is uh, I will not say Azender is just a file sharing app it is a, a full-fledged ecosystem they are uh, launching an offline system where we'll be able to share offline and not just file but also a lot of content can be exchanged on their platform and uh, they are just about to launch a movie section on on Zender where people will be and this is all on blockchain uh, so uh, a very few people in India understand the value of blockchain. I feel uh, Zender is uh, much ahead of time by launching uh, the whole service on blockchain and uh, it will be a decentralized service where uh, people will be able to exchange content and also get incentivized by uh, sharing of content. So that will be very interesting. Uh, my good luck and my all support to Zender uh, management and their team. and. Uh, uh, we uh, we wish for the whole uh, a complete success to Zender for all their uh, innovative ideas and uh, future plans and roadmap they have uh, in the future. Thank you. So I thank you all for your time and patience. This is our website www.moviechain.io. From here you can download the white paper on uh, MovieCoin. Do I have two, three minutes left? Before, this is, I'm just playing video, you can lay the lunch. So this is Andy Tian, he's the Gifto founder of Gifto. Uh, please hear what he wants to say about this thing. And he would be talking about also about Peter. Peter is the founder, CEO of Render. Well, Peter is always known as the product driver, right? He's the one that's um, focused on every day on building a product and building the right culture uh, for his team. And rather than trying to market and do PR. So I think that the success that he has with Xander in terms of the massive user base and market leadership comes from the fact that Peter is always the one to pursue excellence in product building for the user base. I think one of the biggest similarities, and I'm, I think that is a trend in the blockchain world in 2018, that we're both successful businesses, using mobile, on the international market, across multiple territories. And our respective leadership in our, our, our own, own, own industry is really the foundation, I think, for the success of our blockchain projects. For example, we are leaders in our live streaming field, and uh, Vendor is a leader in the P2P content distributing model. Um, Peter has, especially in the emerging markets, I have, as I know, Zender is number one in India, for example, already one of the largest market for mobile. And with this, I think no one can really match Zender's uh, massive user base at over 100 million users, and also the daily transfer content volume of our 200 million files. That is, a, that is comparable to probably Dropbox, right? I think because the, of um, Zender comes um, comes from a P2P model, right? The uh, P2P is essentially the best definition for de decentralization. So instead of having a top-down, one-to-many paid to, like paid model where content company will distribute their, their movie or TV series to the user base, Movie Chain enables users who enjoy the content, be able to pass to their own users. In a P2P model, uh, or also what's known as a social referral model. I think that's one of the best applications of a blockchain technology and also the best use case of a, a token. I think emerging content has the best food. Much better, right? But just kidding. I think that the uh, I think in the, in the in the mature markets, right? I think that uh, a lot of technology, a lot of uh, uh, the current models of distribution business model are already set. It's hard to change it. However, in the emerging countries such as India or South Asia, the um, content and technology are often uh, very innovative. So, for example, because that TV and PC and TV are no near don't nearly have the influence as they have in the influence market, mobile is now the de facto first platform for, for media consumption. 
And also because the internet infrastructure isn't as quite as good as say in US or Europe, I think in India, uh, then the style of P2P content distribution becoming exactly the major uh, the, the major channel for any content distribution. And of course, the phone is now everything. It is your it is replaced the PC, replaced TV, and also uh, with blockchain technology that is pioneered by MovieChain will become the major content platform in the emerging market.